Hello everyone, welcome back to RCH Builders. So here we are again. Last thing that uh, was seen was a, what we were doing, how we were putting in all of these, the anchor bolts. So they are now all in all the way through here. The other thing that we have done, um, which was off camera, it was just real busy that day trying to do a bunch of things, plus with the holidays and all that. Um, but we have gotten in, uh, we had put in this uh, first pipe just to get across the footer previously, but we went ahead and we connected up from there and then went and took it over. So down in here, this is uh, where the toilet will be for the little half bath that's going to be down here in the basement. And then that pipe will go up. Uh, we had to get it, basically we had to get it about five feet high for our underground inspection which we finally got that this morning um it just it rained real bad over the weekend when we were planning on getting it inspected and so then we had to basically bail water before we could have the inspection the day the next day but so we got that inspection and uh you see it's holding water we usually fill it up to about an inch below so that it doesn't slosh out too bad and it's still holding water we'll have to drain that soon just because we don't want it to possibly freeze overnight but uh and then burst uh, these these uh joints or whatever but we'll end up draining that now that we've got the inspection uh it goes uh over through and then up that's where the washing machine will be down here in the basement um, we'll end up building a wall in front of that on top of the slab later um, to help hide all that and make it look pretty but for now we just needed to get the drain in because of course you know drain has to drain downhill um, the good thing with this uh, here is the direction that we're going heading out that direction the uh, actual sewer line comes down through over that way so we are able to actually go downhill without having to do a sump pump which a lot of times you have to do a uh, for any kind of bathroom or sewage that you will have in a basement but in this case we're actually uphill from it so we're good with that um but we started since we got our inspection we started putting down this gravel here uh we've got i don't know if you can see it or not uh you can kind of see it here but we've got that line is the bottom of the concrete where the concrete slab will be the top of the stone so we're doing that we're going to put that stone in all the way around here and then we'll be putting down some plastic and then after we do the plastic we will uh, put down some mesh and be ready for concrete so we've got the concrete scheduled as soon as we got our inspection we went ahead and called that in because it usually takes them about a week to get uh, concrete out to you anyways but we need to make sure we had our inspection before we wasted their time on their schedule so we've got our transit set up over here in the corner and right there because we got the chalk line around the edge but of course you know we'll need that for checking the middle um, but I mean it's looking pretty good right now I haven't checked it with the level yet I'll probably check that here in a little bit but uh, that's what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna put all this gravel down so hope y'all enjoy watching
All right, so had a phone call come through, which uh, interrupted the last little bit, I guess. I'd kind of forgot that it, you know, was stopping the video and wasn't paying attention to that. It was just focused on finishing it up. So what we did is we uh, stopped, we chalked us a line. You probably saw that on video, I'm not sure, because it's on hyperlapse, so it may have missed it. But uh, we had he had to clean it up and then redo it, and then he had to get new chalk because there wasn't enough chalk in his chalk box, and we redid it. So we did it three times, so chances are you probably at least saw us chalk it once. But uh, there is about, we set eight inches back. That is so that as the uh, slab, which is only needs to be four inches for this, it's not needing to be any more, uh, four inches is plenty. As that slab comes across here on the gravel, it's nice and firm, but then where the actual end gable wall will be, that wall will be able to, uh, the concrete will set directly onto the footer. So there'll be no uh, squishy, you know, gravel yes gravel doesn't squish too much but it does squish a little bit it doesn't let you create a good mechanical connection but so that slab will come down and just uh be able to sit directly onto the actual footer here but otherwise we've got that in we've used our nice little laser level to get it all good and level across here and it is ready for the next step which the next step would be putting down plastic then mesh and then we will be pouring concrete in here next Wednesday as long as it's not raining. Uh, hopefully it's not. But the weather is actually saying that it may rain. So hopefully that's either late afternoon or will change to not at all. But we still need to seal these walls. They are still way too wet, which is not helping us. But... If I need to, we may end up having to just build the forms back there, have a drainage pipe come around, and then seal around everything there. I was wanting to seal before, but the concrete, when the concrete comes for that, we are also going to go ahead and pour these raised footers here. So all we're going to do is basically build a form from that wall to this dirt wall, and then the wall there to the dirt wall over there. And then we're just going to fill that whole entire cavity because this footer has to tie to that footer. That's the reason we did this little ladder set up here. But so we're going to have to do that at the same time as this. And if we can't seal this wall ahead of time, I was wanting to at least uh, seal this edge here. Put in a drainage pipe to help divert any water that may get in the crawl space around this area here. But uh, we just might have to pour it and then seal it all as a single unit. I wanted to seal them separately and then together um, just to help help uh, create yet another barrier even between that block and this concrete. But sealing it together is still acceptable. It's just I would prefer to, but we're running crunch time with rain and weather and everything and we just might have to do it the other way. So we'll see how that ends up happening but otherwise it's a bunch of crush and run down ended up being probably about six scoops total from like a, a um, little small place it was uh, two truck two dump trailers full for my dump trailer um, a dump trailer technically can be fuller than that but weight wise not that's about all you really want to do so but we've got that in and on to the next thing.